So we are heading to my COVID test. So which yeah. means we've had permission. We have permission to we, leave we our actually, county. Yeah, we have a letter. Well, we have an email, but a letter. But we've gone through no checkpoints. No. Um, it is also snowing and it's really wintry. But it's nice. It's, it's nice. nice to look at. The fact that we have to drive in sort of a bit. Mm -hmm. I feel like we could become up to a checkpoint to be honest. So why? No, it's not. It's because look at the snow on that road. So yeah. people are coming in and more in and in. Because they're going to have to drive on the, on the snow. Yeah. Which is scary because now it's still. So it is actually still snowing. Um, which is, would you say it's weird for Ireland to get this much snow? We don't normally get snow. At all. We might get a flurry overnight and then it's gone the next day. Yeah, it doesn't. But we never get snow that's actually on the road, lying on the roads. Yeah, and you can even see in the trees. Show them over that way, the road. It's like, all this is a three lane carriageway. And we're using one. One lane, we're all down to one lane because, mind you, there's a truck going to go flying past us. Yeah. he's using out the outer lane but you know what we're not in a rush we've got plenty of time we left plenty early so oh that snow is getting heavier it is look at that man man we just yes, he goes oh oh dear yeah. lord we're in a blizzard ma'am not in a blizzard Gary. let's not over exaggerate <laughs> no but it's nice because we, we never, never get snow, get snow. never we always get like um, flurries, but it's a little bit more than a flurry now. Yeah. As you can see, it's just getting heavier and heavier. Shit, I have to come off the airport. I forgot to tell me. Sorry. Oh it's my god, just the getting. Man in okay. Everyone's I'm, just. I'm cautious. The man in front is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. He, he's creeping he's along. Between two lanes, and he's creeping. It's uh... a. I have to say, the inner child <laughs> to me is so happy. Oh. You might want to move to the other lane. No, we're okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, yeah, so in Ireland, this is like the biggest rarity you can get. It's just. Unless you live in Donegal. Donegal seems to get an awful lot of snow. They are much more north. I just hope we don't slide. If we slide, we will have it on camera. Should be really embarrassing. Very yeah. The inner child of me wants to get out and play, but I'm driving a car because I'm a responsible adult. Did he break down? My car sounds funny. Long term, I'm actually going to go this way, Kerry, because I think we need to come off. You have to, if you can't get it on your phone, you're gonna to have to read signs. I look express red. No, no, we want express, express green. green. I think it's at the back of the airport. Hello, COVID test done. Yeah, do you want to describe what it was like? Literally feels like someone is touching your brain, like, a, like it's. That sounds but it wasn't the sore. It wasn't no, like no, oh no. my god. It, it's really, sore. it was more just it, some an irritation. Yeah, it really tickled. Really, tickled. really tickled. I actually feel like I'm bleeding now. You're not, it's just wrong. I can taste it. Oh. Maybe he dislodged the nerd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hi guys, good morning and welcome to Sunday and Kerry's COVID test. We have just driven up to Dublin. We have a paper in the car that says we're allowed to leave our county and greater than our five kilometer restriction. <laughs> okay, Carrie, so what am I doing to your hair? Um, well, you're gonna attempt to, oh, what about these buttons there? Ma, no, I have them the right way. I'm in no way, shape or form struggling with this. What am I doing to your hair, Kerry? You're going to dye it purple. 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 Pur yes, but purple. Okay. 
this should be uh, interesting. Do you want me to help you? Oh my god. I just realised that bit there. Yeah. It's from this over, these buttons over here. This one's already closed and I'm trying to put it. Oh open. dear. Yay. <laughs> so do you want it all the way down purple or just uh, purple at the top fading no, into? I'm going to do the whole thing. Okay. Give the new, my new patients something to look forward to. Okay. Spicing up Carrie's life. We're turning her purple. Purple. And the Irish too. You do that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so guys guys today is thursday and it's the first day of kerry's new job she's in today from eight till three so last night i dyed her hair for her she was a bit freaked out with blonde she didn't particularly like it so she asked me to dye her hair which obviously i did so today i've got no real plans i just want to get the house back in some order I'm the only one up it is 10 to 11 uh, I've been up since 7 with Kerry obviously um, so yeah I've just been sitting around watching YouTube answering comments that's what I did a lot of this morning it's a load of comments this morning so I had great fun just answering and an awful lot of people were up so we had a nice little bit of a conversation going so uh, yeah so I'm just gonna try and get the house in order and then at three o'clock I have to go up and collect her. I'd say the child be dead. But your look, we'll see how she gets on. So this is how Kerry's hair came out. After being dead. it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love. What's the new phrase? I'm obsessed. But Kerry's head. <laughs> Please don't say that. That's <laughs> it sounds so, so wrong, doesn't it? Anyway, it came out a beautiful colour. Absolutely gorgeous. So much better on you than the blonde. Mm. I like it so much. I like you with darker hair anyway. Yeah, but I can't pull off black. No. No, no, no. Black is too extreme. But that is gorgeous. Mm. How was your first day in work? I'm not going to lie. My feet hurt. I was going to change in the changing room out of my scrubs. And I went to put back on my shoes and my foot had grown. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Like, When's the last time, though, in fairness, you were on your feet for, for 12 hours? Straight, with no sitting down. Not yeah. Once. Um, A very long time ago, if geez, ever. I don't think I've ever gone that long without sitting down. But, like, my big toe, when I like came home and I took off my shoes, like, my big toe won't even bend anymore. Oh. It's just, like, stuck. It's like, I'm not even going to try. Poor Bappy. Um... But other than that... But you're going back in tomorrow? Yes. I'm in for a half day and more COVID testing. Well, define your half day. Um, so it's 8 to 3. 8 to 3. So yeah. for most people, that's a work day. Yeah, for most people, it's a work day. That's me, it's a half day. And are you working Saturday and Sunday? Yes, 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening. And then you won't know your roster for next week, will you? No. I'm not really sure what happened. With but that. look what a good mummy I am. I had your tea on you the did. table. I'm not going to lie, Mum. My like my head hurts so much because we were wearing um like really intense masks, so they're called FFP two. You cannot smell out of them. Oh. They're that and, like you can't smell. So like I was walking around the ward and I was like, What's that smell? And it took me like ten minutes to realise it was my breath. Oh. I wasn't pleasant now and I wasn't happy. Um but when No I, one needs to know that Carrie. No, no. Um but when I would take off the mask, um you, you can smell like everything everything and then when you put it back on you smell nothing all right it's like having coffee jeez but all right yeah. i'm gonna go put on your dinner please and um people. enjoy your tea mm. so this is kerry's stir fry with her sauté sauce and spam enjoy so today is Friday and if you've bared with the vlog this long thank you because obviously we're still in level 5 lockdown there's absolutely nothing happening we're not going out I did today start cleaning my room because I want to rearrange the furniture in there but other than that 
nothing really happening at all at all. And trying to make a vlog is sort of a bit on the tricky side because, um, as I said, there's nothing happening. You can't go anywhere. If you do go anywhere, you're fine. So anyway, Kerry has completed her second day today in work and she was off today at three. So while I was waiting for her, I popped into a local shop down there and they were selling the original, what's it called, the original home style Swedish meatballs and they're already pre-cooked and they're in a big bag. I think they were $3.50 or $3.99 in around that and I knew in my press from having cleaned out my press that I had some sauce, um, Ikea sauce for their meatballs. So I thought, yeah, you know what? that's what I fancy in a bit of mashed potato. So I'll show you what it is. So these are the meatballs I picked up. So the original style Swedish meatballs already cooked, 12 minutes on the pan, and there's 65 of them in there. That's a lot. I think they were only 3 99 Anyway, so I picked them up, and I knew in my press that I already had this sauce, which they serve with their meatballs, and they recommend you have that with their... Oh, some weird name. Wait, let's see if I can get it to focus. No, I can't. So with some, where does it say it? Oh, Lindenberry jam. There it is there, see, it says it there. To serve, it's suggested serving mashed potatoes and Lindenberry jam. I actually serve it with cranberry sauce or cranberry jam. And I think they taste fairly similar. So I'm going to try and make this up as per the instructions. But it does call for cream to be added. So you just um, boil 300 millilitres of cold water in a saucepan, bring to the boil, add sauce mix and 500, or sorry, 50 millilitres of whipping cream with a minimum of 38% fat. Well, I have some cream, I don't know what the fat content is, I didn't really look, but we'll add it in and we'll give this a go. So I've just put the, well half the bag of the uh, meatballs into a frying pan there with a bit of olive oil. They're already cooked through so we're just heating them through. I have my 50 millilitres of cream and I have my 300 millilitres of water ready to come to the boil. So this is going to be interesting. So we'll wait for that to boil. I'll add me packet of sauce and my cream and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that water's come to a boil. I'm just going to grab my cream. Now it says put everything in and let simmer. So I think I have to lower it down to a simmer. So let's lower it down to a simmer first. Okay, and let's dump everything in. And a bit of cream. And then I'm going to use my trusty wuzz wuzz with the whisk attachment. And we're going to mix well. Oh Jesus. Blood's gone everywhere. Holy bloody moly. Right, I don't think that's a great idea. Let's get rid of your man and let's get a hand whisk. And we'll whisk the bejesus out of them. Right, I think I need my two hands to hang on to the pot. So I'll come back to you in a few minutes. Okay, so this is the dinner dish. Mashed potatoes, meatballs and there's our sauce. And a big chunk of our sauce is gone because Hayley said the sauce was absolutely gorgeous. Now, I did give it to her on the side and she came out and choked it all over her potatoes and everything. So I think it's a thumbs up for the IKEA meatball sauce. So as you saw, the dinner went down an absolute storm tonight. Everybody loved it. And Kerry wants me to do up one for her to take to work tomorrow. 
So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get all that placed up. I'm going to tidy my kitchen. I'm going to go to bed. I moved my coffee station. Will I show you? So my coffee station was here. But we were very cluttered or it looked very cluttered for space. So I moved it over here. Still not don't know if I'm 100% happy. I want to swap out this container here for a black one. So um, yeah. So we have three meatballs left over. So I'm going to do some more up for Kerry for her lunch tomorrow. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do up her lunch for dinner tomorrow, put on the dishwasher and go to bed. It's only 10 o'clock. No, it's not. It's not even 10 o'clock. What time is it? It is 9 o'clock and it is Friday night, 9 o'clock. And I want to start getting ready for bed. I'm probably going to watch a bit of YouTube just before. Just take me up to sort of 10. Where I sort of feel it's respectable to go to bed at that time. Nine's a bit early. Um, Kerry's gone to bed. And Miss haley has gone to bed. It's only myself and Carl up. So um, I might actually have a cheeky ice cream. Right, I'm going to go. I will talk to you again on Monday. Um, when I do my big shop week shop for the beginning of February. I'll talk to you then lads. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye bye now.